math review number five. So this is a little bit different than the ones we've been doing because um, all of the answers are provided but all of the answers are wrong. So what you have to do is you have to rework the questions and figure out what the person did correctly. So you're going to redo the questions that are given to you and have the right answer. And then you, I would like you to tell me why the person did it wrong. So the first question, it says, Joe did the following math problem, 1,693 divided by 32, and he said the answer was 52.29. What should he have written? So I'm going to look at the math problem, and then I'm going to write it down. And sometimes I get confused about what goes where. So if I write it as a fraction, and I know all fractions mean divide, write the denominator outside, I'm good to go. So 32 does not divide into 1. So I can either put an x or a 0 or just move on to the next one. And then I ask myself, how many 32s are in 16? Well, there are none. How many 32s are in 169? <clears throat> so 5. And 32 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 15 plus 1 more, that's 160. So I'm going to put my 160 here. I'm going to subtract. I'm going to get a 9. And then I'm going to bring down my 3. And so how many 32s are in 93? Uh, let's go 3. And, oh wait, that's 96. So 3 is a little bit too big, so I'll go 2. So 32 times 2, that's 4, 6, so 64. And I'll put my 2 up here so I remember. And I'm going to subtract, and I get 29. So I've got the same thing that this person got. But then here it says mixed number. So this 29 is not... 0.29, 29 hundredths, because it's, it's 29 out of 32. So you need to write your answer as a mixed number for this question. Okay, question number two. It says, Laura did the math problem, one and a half times one and two thirds, one and one half times one and two thirds. And I remember that when I multiply fractions, I mix numbers rather, I need to make this into a fraction. So to do that, I do the backwards C thing. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3, over 2, times 3, plus 2 more is 5, over 3. And then when I multiply, I just multiply straight across. So I'm just going to multiply these, and multiply these and then change this to a mixed number. And that'll be my answer. Okay. Number three says that Haley did this math problem. What should she have done? So the problem is two and two thirds and one and one half. So I remember when I'm adding fractions, I have to have a common denominator. So I list the multiples of 3, which are 3, 6, and 9, and then the multiples of 2, which are 2, 4, 6. And the first one that they have in common is 6, so the common denominator is 6. So I need to make equal fractions. So that's times 3, so that's times 3. And equal fractions, that's times 2, so that's times 2. And then I just add my numerators. So 4 6 plus 3 6, that's 7 6. I need to change that into a mixed number. And when I do that, I get 1 and 1 6. Then I need to add my whole number. So 2 plus 1, that's 3, plus this other one, that's 4. So it's 4 and 1 sixth. Okay, next page. Um, here we've got another fraction problem. And so Ashley says that 6 and a quarter 
minus 2 and 3 fourths. So here I've already got a common denominator, so that's not an issue. But wait a second, I can't take 3 away from 1. So I have to borrow from the 6, it becomes a 5, and then I'm going to take that 1 that I borrowed, which would be 4 fourths, so it's 5 fourths minus 3 fourths, and then I would do the math and then make sure my answer's in simplest form. Okay, the next question, Austin graphed 0, 6, what should he have graphed? So I think about my coordinate grid song, and in the coordinate grid song, coordinate grid is made from two number lines, the x goes across and the y goes high. Plot a point, the origins where you begin first left or right, then up or down. So I should start at the origin, which is here, and then go first left and then up. Okay. All right, the next one um, it says in a math test, it said to evaluate the following expression. So it's got 3a squared and then a is 5. So I wrote this down. So I'm going to now I'm going to evaluate. So I'm going to replace the a with a 5. So I've got 3, 5, squared, so that's not 35 squared because I remember that when I've got a number and a variable or coefficient and a variable next to each other, that means to multiply. And then I think about my order of operations, grouping symbols, nope, then exponents. So I need to start here, then multiply or divide. Okay, next one. Uh, Tammy says the distance from negative 2, 6 to 5, 6 is 3 units. So I'm going to draw a little coordinate grid. And I'm going to plot my points so I remember that first left or right, then up or down. So origin's where I begin. So I'm going to start here at the center and I'm going to go negative 2, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which would be right about here. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you're being asked to find the distance from here all the way to there. Okay, next one. Uh, Michael labeled the coordinate grid incorrectly. So the axes divide the plane in four quadrants. Draw a C in the center to remember which is which. Follow the letter C. So I'm going to begin here and number 1, 2, 3, IV. Okay, so Tom says that the multiples of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. So multiples. So multiples multiply. These are the factors of 10, the parts of 10. Okay, and then the last one. The ratio of wins to losses is 3 to 4. The test said write the ratio of losses to wins. So Alex wrote 3 to 4. What did she do wrong? What should the answer be? Okay. 